about the display methods and edit methods. So we have already discussed about this. Uh, so generally, in a table level, generally in the form level or report level, if you want to show as a field, okay, without any physical field, if you want to show some calculated fields, calculated value, or any value which is not from that same table, from different table, okay, so we can use the display methods to show that column. Okay, as like a field. So it is a display method. It's a method that can be used as a column in the form level or report level. Okay, let us see that syntax quickly and we, I'll show you a quick example. On it. <coughs> okay, so I'm just going to uh, some of the tables which I have already created. Rental table, as I told you, we have two tables. Car table is main table and rental table is the child table. So in this star table, car ID is the unique identity field, main field. In the rental table, car ID is the referred as a foreign key field. I mean, foreign key reference is there in the rental table. So what I'm going to do, since car ID is getting from the car table, so I just wanted to show here some other values. Okay, so I wanted to show the brand. Car ID, car brand I wanted to show in the rental table. So what I'm going to do, I am just creating on display method. Okay, so take a normal method, right click on the methods, take a new method. Okay, once you create a new method, you have to change the method name and you have to add the display keyword. Let me show you that. Okay. So <clears throat> this is the method. Normally it will create a normal method, new method. So what I'm going to do? So I have created the method name, I have changed it. The return type, I have given the name. Okay, because I am I would like to show the brand name as a field. So this is the default syntax for the display method. So take a method name, take the return type. So whatever the value you'd like to show as a column, you have to take the same type of return type. So I would like to show the brand name. I have taken the name as a EDT. Name is a system EDT. I have taken by the return type. So what is the keyword we have to take? Display. So this is the signature syntax we have to take. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> once you take this, whatever the return type you have taken, name. You have to return the same type. So for that, you have to take the name variable and we have to return that. Okay. So here what I am doing based on the current car ID, I want to get the brand. So in which table I am writing? I am writing in rental table. In the rental table, I have a car ID. By using this keyword, by using this keyword, I can get the car ID. Okay. So by using this car ID, I am calling the car table find method. Find method is nothing but this will be if you pass the unique ID value to the find method, it will return the that ID record with that ID, whatever the value are passing, that value record you will get it. So I am simply calling the car table find method and I am passing the car ID. So it will automatically return the record. That record can be stored in the car table table buffer. I am storing in this car table buffer. By using the car table buffer, I am getting the car brand. I am taking the car brand, I am assigning to RET value. RET is nothing but name variable. Okay, that RET, that name value, I am returning here. Okay, so this is how we will write the display method. So instead of calling this find method, I can write the select statement also. Okay, since find method is already available, I am utilizing that. Or else, if you want, we can write the select statement also, something like this. <coughs> Select car table where car table dot car ID this dot car ID so that this table buffer will get the record which is matching with the car ID. So by using this car table, I can get the car brand and I can assign, assign to our, our ID. So, because so this, instead of 
Yeah. 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 So, so this uh, car ID will be passed on runtime. The user will uh, provide this car ID. The user is not providing. Actually, this will be taken from the current record. Whenever you open the form, when you okay. you know, it's automatically passed the current record to this current uh, record value. This car ID display yeah. method will execute automatically whenever you are open the form. It will be shown as a field, right? Say, for example, when you open that form, if you have like four records, but for each record, it will pass that re every record car ID. So based on that, okay. it will show like each brand value. So it will iterate, it will iterate like for each, for every value it will show. Yeah, we don't have to do anything. It will take care. Once you do this okay. process and you will assign this in the form level, it will mm -hmm. take care. Okay. Okay. I'll show you the output. And the uh, other one, other one is edit method. Edit method also as it is like display method. So what is the display method? Display method only for the viewing purpose, readable. User cannot modify the value. Only he can see that, cannot be modified, okay? If you talk about edit method, edit method also similarly will work. The only difference is in edit method, user can modify the value. So from where we are getting that value, in that place we are going to update that value, okay? Edit method. So Similarly, yeah, you'll have the method name, written type will take, but here the keyword is edit keyword. Okay, and here in the display method, you will not have any parameters, but here in edit method, you should have the parameters. This is the signature. You have to take the same signature. Okay, so here the first parameter is Boolean and second parameter is your value. What value you are taking the same type of Variable, you have to take it as a parameter. So for mileage, I'm taking value variable. And here also, if the return type is mileage, the inside the return type also mileage. So same thing you have to follow. Okay, same uni uniformity, uniform. So similarly, this dot car ID, I'll pass it and I'll get the car table. Okay. Whenever the whenever uh, the user is modifying something, it will get the default RET. This set value is true. Okay. So if he's not modifying anything, if it is directly showing, it will get it will get to execute the else block. Because what is else block? As like display method, as it is like display method. Because for car table, what we are getting, we'll get the car ID record. So that record only is passing to our RET and we are returning. That is the if he's not modifying anything. If he is not modifying anything, it will be works as like as like as it is like display method. If he is modifying the value, that means it's automatically Boolean value will get true value. And whatever the value he is modifying, that value will be getting here. Okay. So once you are coming inside, so car table, find this dot car ID and SCT value is nothing but it's a true value because when you open this parenthesis, you can see two parameters. One is car ID, second one is Boolean for update. So second one we are passing as a Boolean true value so that it will get the record per update. It will get the record per update if you pass the true value. So this record is ready to ready for update. Okay. Since Boolean value is true, if it is true, come inside and we are car table dot mileage we are updating with value which is modified by the user value and car table dot update within the TTS begin and commit. Simple. Okay. So since I'm getting the value from the car table, in the same car table only I'm updating the value. But I'm showing this value in the rental table. Is it clear, guys? If he is not modifying anything, it will not go to the sick block. It will go to the else block. It will get that mileage and it will assign to this RAT and it will return. No. Let me show. You. Yeah, no, tell me. Uh, actually, uh, this like this car car table buffer you are providing, and this mm. find method you are using this dot car ID. So mm. with the help of edit methods, you are updating this value like mileage with the value which you want to update. If user is user want to update the value like mileage value. 
and for this car this dot car id from where it will get the value because it is a unique id that's what again i am telling you the same thing this yeah. dot car this is also like it will create as a rows for every row it will pass the current uh, current this id this is what is the meaning of this this will refer to the current object what is your current object rental table rental table current object current record value it will pass if i execute and show you you will understand clearly okay let me show you Okay. Let me refresh my page. I will post this in the group so you can have a look. You can keep it for reference. You try to understand the simple thing. See, the only thing is like based on the current record value, we are fetching that record. And we are updating the value. If the customer is modifying, he is not modifying. It will default. It will take the same value and it will show it as if we are returning it. That's it. I think I am not able to understand. If you show by example, then will be fine. I am considering that uh, it is it is fetching all the records. So for particular, how can it update for a particular ID? As I don't have data. Let me create some couple of records. Now I'm going to the rental details. Here I'm creating some records. Service. Can you see the brand? This is the brand. This is the brand display method. So is this the correct one? Not allowing to modify. Correct. This is the brand. It's a display method. This is the mileage. This is the edit method. I can modify this. I'm modifying. Before modifying, I need to show the. Okay, okay, and I understood. So you are providing this unique ID for this unique ID current object. It will sub it. It will be updating that value. Yeah, I told you know, it. It will be there in that record, not default. Yeah, yeah, I understood. So if you see now, like, let me show you in car table before modifying there. What is this? Yeah, correct. So mileage it is updated with eight already. Okay. So if I change it to, say for example, ten, it has to update there. For car ID one double zero one, it has to update ten. You see now. Let me save this here. Let's go there. Refresh. It's updated already. Can you see here? So if I modify there, it is updating here in the car table because I am into car table. This is the actual data. This is the car ID. This is the car ID. This is the brand. This is the mileage I have here. Okay. So if I go there and if I create new record, or the record data is there. Okay. This is display method because brand is not there in the rental table. Brand is there in the car table. I am only selecting car ID. So I wanted to see even brand here. See, you can see the brand, right? If I select brand, it shows. Because I don't want to show here. 